what are we going to do today and so forth. After which we will have our morning prayer. Okay? My pleasure Friends, good morning. Thank you, thank you so much. आज सुबह साढ़े आठ बजे हम रेडिसन होटल से निकले हैं और आज का दौरा सेंट फ्रांसिस चर्च को जाने वाले हैं यहाँ से दो तीन घंटा का रास्ता है और अभी हम बस में बैठे हैं और गाइड जो है हमको पूरा एक्सप्लेन कर रहा है किस तरह किधर जाने का है तो अभी गाइड को सुनेंगे we do namaskara we go to tamil nadu stay we can wanna come we can have a stay what the namaste in andhra pradesh so in the northern part of the namaste namaste but uh, i'm a muslim so so i will so do you have a muslim friend where we So, you're uh, all first time in Kerala? Yeah, all first time? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Can be many times. So, Kerala. Do you know anything about Kerala? What's the meaning? Ah. What is Kerala? Kerala means coconuts. Ala. Two meanings. Waves. Thank you. 
Sometimes you know, uh, I forgot the lines here. Lines here. Anyway, I will sing later. Okay, let me uh, let me calm down. Yeah. <laughs> calm down. Then only tell us what you want. Yeah. Yes. So uh, let me tell you where we're going. We have a two uh, monument visits in uh, two places in Kochi. The one is called Fort Kochi. The other one is called Matancheri. The first European colonial area of India, where they came first and settled there. Fort Cochin. Why it's called the Fort Cochin? Uh, let me tell you what the meaning of Cochin. Cochin means small. We normally use to call a child. Cochin means child, but small child. And there is also one in the history, an other name, they call Kochari, a little ocean, where, they come, where they, uh, the name come from, Kochari, Fort Kochi. The Portuguese, when they arrived here, was in 1498. The Vasco da Gama began his sail, his journey to Africa, Africa to India. Cape of Gudahop, reach to Mozambique, Mozambique to Meliende, Meliende to India, and he arrived at Calicut. Calicut, there is no Calcutta, there is no, no resemblance in it. Yeah, yes, of course, yeah, the pronunciation is like that. Calicut is one of our district name. We're in the north. 230 kilometers from Kochi, where he landed. And three months, he taken three months from there to Kochi. Why he came here? For the spices. For the spices here. Because it can make them rich. Especially the black pepper, the tiny Malabar <coughs> pepper. A ball is enough to burn your mouth. That much quality. So they came here for that trade here. And the second follower is Pedro Alvarez Cabral. <coughs> he, uh, first he go, good, uh, sorry. First he arrived in Brazil. Brazil to, again, he came to Africa. Africa to India. That's the sea route he came here. Then Alfonso de Albuquerque, another one came here. So, in every 10, 15 years, there are so many sailors came here for the trade. The first one was Vasco da Gama. But the situation was very, very not favorable for the Portuguese because the Zamorian king, the king of the north, was so powerful at the time. Have a big navy to defend Vasco da Gama. So the first attempt of Vasco da Gama became unsuccessful. But he approached another one in the North Kerala and uh, made an agreement and uh, stopped everything into the ship 
maximum he collected the spices from that northern uh, region and he sailed back to Portugal. Then again one by one came here. So this is about the Vasco da Gama's arrival here. So the next, yes please. I thought he died here. Yes, that's what I, you know, we're going there. Uh, in 1524, he died because of malaria. <coughs> and his body was originally buried in St. Francis Church. <coughs> you know, yeah? Yeah, the Bangalore. I don't know, I can't hear. The body was left in Bangalore. Yes. Yeah. No. Uh, his body was buried here and and taken back to Portugal in Lisbon, the monastery of Geronimus in Lisbon. His, his bones is over there. He belongs to there, not here. No. You know, uh, Portuguese, they were, uh, we don't like that much. But the Dutch is not like that. People like the Dutch people here in the colony because a lot of massacre, killings, and everything happened in the time of Portuguese time. I know the history, what happened to the people at the time. Anyway, uh, over 100 years the Portuguese were here, then the powerful Dutch people came here from Indonesia to Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka to Kerala. They came here like that way. In 1663, the Dutch occupied this land and defeated the Portuguese. And in Goa, defeated partially. So that's why the last state in India, uh, Portuguese left. Recently, in the time of Jawaharlal Nehru. Here, they can. That's the uh, it's right here. So the church we are going is called Saint Francis Church. When Alfonso, uh, sorry, Pedro Alvarez Cabral, when when he came here, he brought uh, missionary people here, uh, Franciscan priests. They arrived here, and the Portuguese were Roman Catholics. But that is not the beginning of Christianity in Kerala. Christianity introduced in this Kerala, first century, 52 AD, Saint Thomas, Apostle of Jesus Christ. He arrived in our ancient port. He arrived in the ancient port of Kranganur, 47 kilometers of the north of Kuchin. He landed there and converted many Brahmins. First, he converted the people because he took a lot of time to convince them and it is also say he showed some miracles. <laughs> miracles here. So St. Thomas Christians here. The majority, the majority were Brahmins at the time. And, and Dalit, they have no right at the time. Not even, you know, this is one of the darkest area of India. You never, I think you never know that. Even the Swami Vivekananda, is called the state. It's a madhouse. And that state now, one of the top leading state in India, in education, women rights, equality, wealth, health, everything, top. Why? Because once it was the darkest one, because not any Dalit have right to walk on the public roads. They need to keep away. They need to keep distance from the higher caste. At least 13 feet. So not even allowed to touch them. No, they have no right to go temples. Anywhere. So many people found a way to escape from this they're all converted to Christianity and Islam. That's the only one way. So, the Christians, the first Christians of St. Thomas from first century, and they call St. Thomas Christians in India, in Kerala. And the second group came here in fourth century from Syria. 
the Syrian Christians, Syriac Bible, they read. And if you if you go to any Syrian church, you can you can hear the the Bible they read in Syriac language, Syriac here. And the Syriac and Roman Catholics, one, they were against each other. They don't they the Syriac they don't follow the Roman bishop. So there is a conflict between these two people and a lot of fights here. So there are so many churches, Portuguese, were destroyed of Syrian churches here. At the same time, when the Dutch came in 1663, they start demolishing the churches of Portuguese built. Why? Because the Protestants and the Roman Catholics. They don't want the remains of the Portuguese in, in this area, means in Kerala. So that's where the demon. There is only one church is survived from this. That is Vasco da Gama Church, St. Francis Church in Kochi. Where we go in there. Where we can see his dome there. And uh, many more came here, Anglicans, in the, during the time of British, the Anglican. So there are so many Anglican churches here, the Syrian churches here, and also you can see that the Catholic churches here, Roman Catholic churches. <coughs> Islam, <coughs> Islam in Kerala. AD 629, at the time of Prophet Muhammad, he sent his messengers to Kerala. Malik ibn ibn Dinar and Habib ibn ibn Dinar that's the name of the Sahabis they sent to Kerala to flourish Islam they arrived in the Kranganur and the last king of Jera dynasty you know in South India there are three major dynasties Jera, Chola, Pandya and Jerans were in Kerala Chola and Pandya Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. So at the time they came here. So I'm oh, sorry. I can show you that India's biggest warship, the flight carrier. Here you can see INS Dronacharya, that the grey one. You can see the runway. They have a very you know it's completely our technology. INS Vikrant, the biggest aircraft carrier, the grey one. Yes. Our Prime Minister inaugurated and given to our country. And shipyard, the biggest shipbuilding yard in India. There are two major shipbuilding yards in India. One is in Shakapatano, the second one is here, where they build INS. And this area, you can see here, Indian Navy Southern Headquarters. And our, their training center is in Kochi, INS Dronacharya. This is Navy's Southern Headquarters here. And also, this is an island. It's an artificial island. You know, once we, we cross the bridge, we. We, we are on the artificial island. In 1929, sorry, 1920, the British were started building a boat in this area. And uh, it was a tiny island at the time. They start dredging for the shipping channel and all the mud and sand put it on the island. It expanded to 3.5 square kilometer man-made island where you can see their uh, quarters there. And also you can see their airman airport for their uh, flying training. So you can see all the barbwares. There is a, a small, you know, low, less height over here. You can see that. The old one. This is on one of the oldest airport.
and in this side you can see uh, it's a, like a colony where the poor people live. It's not the slum. There were the, all these people all come from Tamil Nadu state for uh, in search for job, and they stayed here with the family. Tamil people, Tamil speaking people. So once the election comes, they go to put the votes for their leader. This is all their houses belongs to Tamil people here. You know when the Jayalalitha, you know the Jayalalitha, when she died, all the shops were closed and the, you know, uh, kind of a ceremony they conducted here in this area. One of the oldest uh, railway tracks you can see here when it comes from the harbor terminal because port, airport, the port have 13 bus and now they are uh, building another three more because all the tourist ships come in every year. And then 45 to uh, 50 ships every year. Huge ones, carries 1,000 to 3,000 people. Celebrity, Azamara, all the names of the crews. You to know we can yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we we crossing the railway and not any train running on this track. Not now. They have stopped all the services from this area, and it all starts from the southern uh, we call South Railway uh, Station. We are on the more than seven hundred different plans and plans. That book is published from that building. John Van Hendrik Reed, the Dutch governor, who wrote the book of Portus Malabaricus. That's the first book. Came in the 17th century. Five years back we came here, we planted a lot of trees in this area. <coughs> and this all you can see. This is uh, the one kind of a plum. Uh, which is uh, what you call it. No. Yeah, the one the one This, this is jamun, jamun, jamun tree. Yes, yes, yes. The, the, the blueberry Black. jamun. Blueberry jamun. Mm. Huh? jamun. We planted so many here. <coughs> Mangoes here. Water. And this the is almond. Here. This one is Badal. almond. Almond. Eh? Yes, Indian almond. Indian. All the sliver of <laughs> Bogan we live. अभी हम उतरे हैं सेंट फ्रांसिस चर्च जो बहुत ही कलात्मक है और ये जो सेंट फार्मस चर्च जो अपनी सुंदरता वास्तु का मोर देन सेवन हंड्रेड डिफरेंट प्लान्स एंड प्लान्स दैट बुक इज पब्लिश्ड फ्रॉम दैट बिल्डिंग जॉन वैन हिंदी क्रीड द डच गवर्नर हु रॉट द बुक ऑफ पोर्टोज मलबारिकोस that's the first book. Came in the 17th century. Flower, Parvishan ke liye prasiddh hai. 
भारत में यूरोपिया लोगों द्वारा निर्मित सबसे पुराने चर्चों में से एक माना जाता है चर्च का इतिहास 1503 का है इसकी उत्पत्ति का पोर्चुगीज फ्रांसिशन फ्रेस से हुआ है जो पेड्रो अल्बर्टिस कैब्रल के साथ कुछ ही पहुँचे थे लकड़ी और मिट्टी के बना चर्च किले के बीच में स्थित था जिसका निर्माण पोर्चुगलियों ने तात्कालीन कुचिन राजा की अनुमति से किया था और यह सेंट भारतोलोमियो को समर्पित था 1516 के चर्च के 1516 में चर्च का पुनर्निर्माण किया गया और फिर से खोला गया और पोर्चुगल सांतो एंटोनियो को समर्पित किया गया इसलिए इसका नाम सेंटो एंटोनियो चर्च रखा गया चर्च में टाइलों से ढकी एक विशाल लकड़ी की छत वाली छत के साथ एक ऊंची संरचना है अग्रबाग के दोनों किनारों पर एक सीढ़ी द्वारा शिखर का निर्माण किया गया है जो बहुत प्रभावशाली है और पुराने विश्व आकर्षण को बरकरार रखता है चर्च का आंतरिक भाग भी चांसल छत के शीर्ष पर स्थित दो सीढ़ी द्वारा शिखरों के साथ एक शानदार दृश्य प्रदान करता है और सादे धनुषदार उद्घाटन के साथ जो चांसल को गुफा से विभाजित करता है चर्च के हर तत्व पर पुरानी दुनिया का आकर्षण और भव्यता बहुत दिखाई देती है चाहे वह नकाशी से सजी लकड़ी से बना मंच हो इकबाल या बप्ति में या मंच पुस्तक विश्राम या प्रसाद प्रसिद्ध खोजकर्ता पास्कोडा गामा केरल के तट पर पहुंचने वाले पहले पोर्चुगल नाविक थे उनकी कुछ की तीसरी यात्रा के दौरान 1524 में मृत्यु हो गया उन्हें इसी चर्च में दफनाया गया था 14 साल के बाद उनके पार्थिव शरीर को वापस पोर्चुगल ले जाया गया चर्च के अंदर उनके दफन स्थान को स्पष्ट रूप से चिन्हित किया गया है और तब से अंगतकों को आकर्षित किया है चर्च में एक पुराना इंच बपतिस्मी और विवाह अगर रजिस्टर 1751 से 1804 नॉट फोर डोप बुक संरक्षित है रिकॉर्ड्स का कहना है कि रजिस्टर का रख रखाव एक क्रेडिट कार्नोलिन द्वारा किया गया था कई डच नागरिक रजिस्टर में अपने परिवार की जोड़ों का पता लगाने को कोशिश करने के लिए चर्च जाते थे चर्च के पास एक ब्रिटिश रजिस्टर भी है ये बहुत सुंदर चर्च है What? Finally, yeah. they dilute with the oil or the alcohol, and they spray sometimes raw. Yeah. So what it does to you? You know, it can long last nearly. What? 
Seems to know where he's going. Excuse me, sir. Wrong direction. He's from Oakland? No, 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 he's not. He doesn't belong to I said these two trees are tea coats. Teak. 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 In Portuguese they call teak. Teak. Okay. White sandalwood. Okay. Which one? That one? This one. This one. With a small tiny leaf. Oh. oh, oh. Okay. Nobody. Is allowed to plant a sandalwood tree in their compound oh. because it's very Safe. protected one, secure one, mm. and not even uh, you know will never get the permission to cut this tree. Oh, okay. Why? Only we can buy it from the government stores oh. from, oh. from from their plants, the mm -hmm. plantations. Yes, sandalwood oil, oil. oil. the very most expensive, expensive one. Where the Cleopatra is used to be yes, in yes. during the time of the Arabs. The Romans came here, the Greeks came here, came here. Cleopatra. Long way. Rubber tree. Sandalwood, original sandalwood. This is original sandalwood. Can I have a picture? Oh yes, why not? Yeah. Why not? Come. Yes. Me too. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yes. Insult. Insulting that person. Because that is before sweeping. You know, I'm at me party. I'm at me party in India. I'm going to enter Spanish. How much for it? 200 dollars. 200 dollars. Rupees, rupees. I mean 200 dollars. 200 means 2 dollars. 2 dollars. It is good. It is good. Fan. Fan also. You can keep your pockets like this. Take one. Small business for me. Different 
Okay, so I will talk to the guy. You have card? Okay. Yes. This is the time 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 now? <coughs> time now? Yeah, okay. Come, come. No, we're going. Yeah. We're going, we're going. Yeah. One minute. We'll come. Very nice. That's a big ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come. Yeah, yeah. Slowly, slowly, slowly. So yeah. yeah. Wow. Cargo. Cargo ship. Cargo. <laughs> Friends, अब ये vlog end करने का समय आ गया है. तो उम्मीद करता हूँ कि आप ये ब्लॉग लाइक करेंगे और आपका कमेंट्स ज़रूर मैं देखना चाहता हूँ कृपया चैनल पे नया है तो मेरा चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए